So before I worked at Silvis, my background was in law enforcement. One of the biggest challenges in law enforcement is providing that actionable intelligence in real time in a dynamic environment where you have a lot of unknowns. You don't know where you're going to be responding to and you don't know what the situation exactly is going to be. Silvis Technologies and Ghost Robotics are teaming up to meet the needs of law enforcement and public safety agencies. The benefit of the Silvis radios is while the way that they operate is very complex, the end user's experience is very simple. It feels more like a plug and play type solution that's also very mobile. The Vision 60 is a 100 pound legged robot uh, used in law enforcement and military applications. Our robot really is useful at getting additional distance between the end user and potential threats. There's been a lot of situations in the United States and around the world where had officers had access to a device or a robotic device that could go into a structure where there's a known threat, that lives certainly could have been saved. And so the power of a Silvis radio operating on our robot gives them that added distance so that they can understand what's going on in the environment to make better decisions at safer distances. Silvis Technologies Connect You Basic Operator Training Event provided hands-on experience using the latest in unmanned systems technology and tactical communications networks. We wanted to provide an opportunity for end users, the actual boots on the ground who would be deploying this stuff, to be able to come out to an event and, and set up scenarios that made sense to, to their mission. So the goal is by the time they leave a Connect You event, they don't know everything there is to know about a Silvis radio, but they do know enough to have the confidence to deploy this in a tactical environment and still provide that actionable intelligence to the, the commander uh, that's on the scene. The Connect You event was a great opportunity for law enforcement agencies to understand how they can use the Silvis radio network. We ended up having about 27 different participants in the class from over a dozen state, local, and federal agencies. Silvis Technologies and Ghost Robotics have teamed up before. The first event was at the Super Bowl in some of the most RF congested environment you'll ever see. And we were able to use the, the Silvis network to walk the dog in that very complex environment from over a mile away. Fast forward to Connect You 2022 in Las Vegas. So the scene we were trying to paint for the end users was helping them understand the long range capabilities of the radios. So what we did was we, we put one radio at the uh, SWAT range at the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. And the other radio we took 33 miles away up Mount Charleston, which is on the far west side of Las Vegas. And those two radios were configured with a couple of sector antennas, which pointed at each other. And we were able to establish uh, a very good link from the 33 miles away. So from there, we had a Silvis radio embedded on the Ghost Robotics dog, which could communicate to the antenna that was on the SWAT range. And then we had a user at the other end with a controller who was actually driving the dog that 33 mile distance apart. A Silvis mesh network is capable of linking hundreds of nodes. Every mesh node on the network has the ability to send and receive. I can connect to the radio and I can see everything that the SWAT commander can see in the Tactical Operations Center. We were able to demonstrate that we could get live sensor data, live video feeds from 33 miles away. And then? And then we thought, what an interesting use case it would be for us to try to actually clear a building with this. We have a SWAT house that's designed for training to be able to provide guys with lots of doors to enter and, and exit. So we brought the dog from 33 miles away up on the mountain with, uh, with Corey driving. We brought the dog into the SWAT house. I think we took it through about 14 different doorways. We decided that we wanted to really test the system to see how far we could stretch it. And so we thought, what makes more sense than driving this dog on a city bus from 33 miles away? So Corey was able to, to navigate perfectly onto the bus, which is a, you know, a pretty good step up, and take it all the way down to the front of the bus, turn the dog around, and come back out. I think the thing we learned is that we confirmed what we believed. The network is robust, the dog is exceptional, and that 
distance is not an issue for these applications. Between the technologies of Silvis and Ghost, I think the possibilities are endless.